Hello everybody, my name is Archer and welcome to a game called The Windows Are Gone. This is like a psychological horror thing, and I know normally horror isn't my thing, but uh, if you're hearing this commentary, it's because I decided not to uh, do a, a itchio interests and just went with a episode on it. So why is this happening now? Is it because I was AFK on the title screen? <laughs> Does it reappear if I move my... Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's cute. I like that as like a good way to get background footage, but um, if you're hearing this audio, I didn't do the horror special, uh, and we're just going to play this, so here we go. I turned the volume down a little bit, but other than that, I haven't touched any of the options. I automatically already love the aesthetic. It's clean, but it's also ambient. <clears throat> In my dreams, I see this house. That is the house I see in my dreams, man. I feel it calling for me. Is this the trailer? The trailer is this too. Yeah, okay, it's, a, it's the trailer. Ever since the accident. Whatever I do, I can't stop thinking about this house in, uh, Mariana? Mariana. I must said Maradera. <laughs> so I answered it. A lot of cool shots so far. Uh, the windows are gone. Uh, if you're gonna make a cinematic game or something like horror movie style, I, I love it when devs get creative with shot placement like that. You want to do stuff like that. Hi, honey, how are you holding up? You know, taking it one day at a time. I was the funeral. I wish I could have been there for you. I didn't go. I couldn't do it. I understand. She would have understood, too. You know that, right? Right. And what about your new house? It's in uh, Mariana, right? Quite a long way from home. Yeah, I'm on my way there right now, actually. I'll text you once I get there. All right, be careful on the road. Love you. I know it's easy. Okay, so our character's got, like, a, a relationship going on, but, um... Oh, my God, the mouse sensitivity. Okay, for context, this is, like, a quarter inch on my... My mouse. Oh my god, is there like an option for that? <laughs> oh my god. What is that? This is like more sensitivity than I usually play shooters with, but... Okay. First off, movement feels really good. Alright, be careful. Uh, on the road. Love you. Oh, it was mom. Okay, it was mom. Hey, I just arrived at the house. I'll move the box inside and I'll text you later. We can check texts. Here's our map. I wanted to take a look at the outer side of the house really quickly, just so we can get a sense of scale. Thanks for letting me know. Careful not to hurt your back with the boxes. Oh. No jumping. But that's fine. I, I like the movement, the subtle head tilt. Everything feels good. Even the way our character just kind of moves around. Like, look at this feels nice. I've noticed that horror games usually tend to have decent movement controllers, and this one notably feels really good. So I gotta move these in there. Oh. Also, I like that. Box has living room. Box has upstairs master bedroom written on it. Okay. Upstairs guest bedroom. So, how does this work? Oh. Our movement speed's a little slow. That's fine. Can I... Did... Yeah? 
Okay. <laughs> the box decided to despawn, I guess. I was going to stack them all in the front door, but uh, I guess not. We'll do living room first, I guess, then, if that's the case. Wait, really quickly, if I try to place this. No, it just, um, it just despawned. That was weird. I think the game thought I, like, canceled it, but... Yeah, okay, wait, that does work. Huh. Okay. Odd. Just really quickly grab some of these. We should probably go check out the house, too. I'm hoping this isn't a jump scare horror. I mean, it said atmospheric, and um, I'm kind of hoping that's the case. So that's living room. Let's check the map. Front porch. Living room's right here, so we could just get that done. Hello, hello, new home, new home. What was what was that? Ah! Basement, front porch. This is... Upstairs master bedroom. This house clearly isn't haunted by demons. No siree. Kind of a quaint little house, if I'm gonna be honest. I... Where I live personally, we don't have, like, a upstairs. It's like a single floor thing. But, um... Let's see. Where's the upstairs bedroom? That's down bedroom. Hallway. Wait. This is the staircase up. Right here. So... Bedroom, kitchen. Oh! Oh, I see. Upstairs master bedroom is... Right here. This way. Not bad. Not bad at all. Anyway, I'm not used to a house like this, personally, so... Just... You know, <laughs> take that into consideration. I'm totally used to, like, single floor stuff, but this looks like it'd be really comfy. Probably a little creepy in the middle of the night, if I'm going to be 100% real with you. Like, especially with this right here, with your porch, with the light and the TV right here, just kind of, you know. I mean, yes, I know it's not the porch, it's the living room, but, you know, it's still kind of odd that you enter into the house and you're first, you know, right here in the living room, you know? No hallways or transitory things or anything. Upstairs guest bedroom. Assuming that's over there to the left. I'm going to be carrying one of these things and a demon's going to pop out. And I'm going to absolutely piss my pants. Uh, let's see here. Upstairs guest bedroom. Right here. Hello, hello. You got a guest bedroom in here, too. This is a pretty... Almost like a hotel. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm getting hotel vibes from this. But... Actually, we'll leave that open. No reason to close doors. We're obviously the only person here, right? Nobody else. Ooh. This is, um... Downstairs office. You have a downstairs... Oh. Okay. Wait. What was that? Thought I saw something over there. Downstairs office, the hallway to the right. Okay. This music is disarming and I don't like that. Stop it. Oh, no, that's a basement. It's over here. You have an office! Dude, you have a fucking office in here! I mean, the layout's a little fucked, but like... I... that's awesome! That's, uh, like, amazing! So this guy's... I'm assuming this guy's wife or girlfriend died then if mom's texting you. I love the music sting being a way to, like, break some of the tension, too, because, um... I mean, obviously, I know it's the tension's going to ramp up, but I appreciate just letting me explore the house a little bit with some comfy music. Again, something's going to happen. So, can't get too disarmed. But, I do appreciate it. This is upstairs guest bathroom, or bathroom, there we go. I don't know why you'd have a box for an upstairs guest bathroom, but, you know, I guess you do. And you didn't get any help with this? Like, upstairs master bedroom. 
I feel like if I had a friend who was moving out to a place like this in the middle of bumfuck nowhere with a massive amount of rooms, I'd at least want to help him out. Especially if his wife died. Assuming that's the case. Like... Let's see. Master bedroom. That is master bathroom. Mirrors are a little grungy, but nothing that can't be fixed with some elbow grease. Um, hello? Oh, you were actually there. Like, hi. Hello there, you must be our new neighbor. Uh, yes, I am. Lovely, she awkwardly pauses for a second. Welcome, welcome, Mariana's a wonderful town. Lovely people. Um, can you tell me about it? Well, Mariana's a quiet little town, but it's, uh, full of beauty. Oh, yes. Uh, make sure you visit Eraculus? Eracarius? Eracurius? I can't read that. Park, when you have a chance. Beautiful trees there. I see. Also, people here are known for their friendliness. That being said, I hope you understand that we take pride in our traditions. Please, don't embarrass us with your differences. Oh, that's menacing as fuck. I hope you know that we don't... We don't want your type of trash here, you know? Uh, please don't embarrass us with your differences. Uh, do I know you? Not sure, maybe? It's what they say, small world and all. In any case, we know each other now, don't we? Ugh. Can I help you? Well, I couldn't help but notice the house had been purchased and that the new owner would be here today. So I baked you something special as a welcoming gift. Oh, it's very kind of you. You didn't have to. I think you're going to love it. I left it on your kitchen counter. Wait. Wait, excuse me? Oh, don't worry. I know this house inside and out. Oh, that music sting. You know this house? House has a lot of history. It's a very unique one. In a way, I think it. you know it too. Every corner and every shadow seems familiar to you, doesn't it? In any case, you'll get familiar with it soon enough. All right, then. Now, do me a favor, my dear, and try some of the pastry I made for you, will you? I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, please just... Okay, just please stay here this time, all right? She nods and smiles. Leave conversation. Hey, Mom, some fucking weird chick uh, broke into my house. Can you get me a gun? She broke into my house and left me a mysterious pastry. A plate of castoli made by the neighbor. I'm not sure if I should eat this, but the smell is irresistible. She got in through the back, then, I'm assuming. Right through the side. Mm, my neighbor is going to... Mm -mm. Hey, neighbor, I can't wait for you to not be there when I open to go check. Oh, yep. It just says, welcome home. I can assume it came from the lady, but where did she go? You know, a better question is how she got in through the fucking fence. I mean, oh, she probably just hopped it. Uh oh, oh, okay. I, for a second, I was worried. As I unloaded the boxes into my new house, I couldn't help but be reminded of the toll the trip to Mariana had taken on me. That, combined with the odd encounter with the neighbor, made me realize I was exhausted. I decided to be wise to take a quick nap in the master bedroom. Besides, I was curious to test the comfort of my new bed. That sounds like a bad idea. That sounds like a completely bad idea. Oh, I can't move any of this. Wait, some of the boxes are missing, I think. Yeah, some of the boxes are missing. I think. Again. What is this? Lots of counters and things to um, look at. TV. Please, no jump scares. No jump scare demons. Basement door is locked. I wonder if there's a key somewhere around the house. Ugh. Oh, we like jank our way upstairs. Let's see. All this furniture, not bad. Again, if not for the creepy ambience of this place, it'd probably be a nice place to live, assuming you paint the walls and get rid of the weird wallpaper and make it a little bit more comfy. Dude, if she's in the house, is my bet, honestly. If she already knows everything about the house, she's probably in here. Shut up. You're just floorboards. Well, I mean, we're in a video game, so probably not just floorboards, but, you know. Take a look around. Restroom. 
Uh, okay, that's cute. I technically don't have to look around like this. I honestly don't think we're going to find anything super interesting, potentially, but I figured we might as well, just in case, familiarize ourselves a little bit with our new home. But I'd do. I mean, probably. So, take a look around. Actually, let's not go in here yet. I want to check out the office really quick. So this office... Creepy door noises. It's locked. What is this? This is the... Downstairs bedroom. Hmm. Downstairs office is alright. Complete with furniture... Some lights. No key in here either. That's what I expected to be at least. Maybe in here. Hmm. Maybe in this little veranda? No. Hmm. I'm worried that shutting doors is going to make this a lot harder, which I know it's a little metagamey, but I feel like ambient horror like this. Keeping doors open means either A, it's going to um, lose impact if we see someone, you know, sneak through a door, or B, um, doors are going to stay open on their own. I don't know. I'm just kind of... <laughs> Maybe it gives me a sense of um, some control, I guess, to keep all these doors open. God, I do appreciate that every desk and drawer is interactable. Anything in here? Oh, 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 hey, oh, oh. Ooh, clipped to the wall there for a second. <laughs> uh, I'm getting spooked by the walls, for fuck's sake. I don't know how horror YouTubers do it, honestly. Like, um, I don't really play many horror games, watch many horror movies. I, I'm a little bitch boy when it comes to horror, but... I don't know how people do it where they'll constantly put themselves through the ringer. Yeah, I just, like, stress out too much. I figured I'd do this because it's Halloween and... Well, going to be Halloween soon enough, and be interesting enough. Plus, the visual style called to me. I mean, look at this. Looks good. Oh, that's... Okay. Oop. I just realized something that I didn't really occur to me until right now. Who paints their toilet copper? Like a copper patain here. Like, what is this? Copper scaling and then into, like, a green oxidized copper? Like, what? Who does that? That should be illegal. That's awful. Okay. I'm not sure I'll get used to this bed, but I'll have to do for now. Oh, well, I'm gonna lie down into the spooky dimension. Oh god. Oh god, it's a cutscene. Oh god, it's a cutscene. Oh no, it's a cutscene. <laughs> nah, man, don't do this to me. No. No. Wait, why is my cursor here? Cursor? Okay. It's just gonna hard cut to like us waking up in the middle of the night. Oh god. Oh. This time, I didn't dream about this house. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Probably because I was finally here. I don't know why I'm giving him this voice now, but. No, this time I had a different dream. Oh, God. My man. Oh, no. I love the pacing of this. <laughs> it's got me tense. Oh, Jesus. Hello, car demon. Wife? My wife and I went in a hurry to the hospital. She was clearly in a lot of pain. Oh, God. I find myself in the car, quickly driving my wife to the hospital since her water had just broken. Honey, are you going to be okay? Just avoid any bumpy roads. Have you called your mother? No, I forgot. Can you call her once we get there? Yes, of course. Oh, no. Remember the highway is blocked. Please, hurry. I will. Hold on tight. Oh, God. We slammed into something. And she died. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, that was good! Jessica. Oh, no. Oh, we're in like a blood... Oh, fuck.
Oh, no, don't drop the audio. Oh, no, Jessica. Oh, she is so dead. She, We know she's dead, but just something bad happened and our main character blames ourselves for it. That's... Oh, in the sink. Oh, God, the water. What a horrible nightmare. Dripping noise. I heard it while I was asleep. Where is it coming from? Um, where is it coming from? In here? Actually? Ooh. Where the fuck is that coming from? Demons? Lady? Lady, I'll... Punch you out. If you're in my house, I'll literally... I will attack you. You are not allowed in here. Oh, God. It's one of these. No, the office... Was that lamp there? Coming from the basement. Oh, the basement. Oh, 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 there is 100% a dead body in there. Okay. Little factoid. Um. Oh, there is 100% a dead body in there. Leak in the ceiling. That's what I get for buying an old house. Good weird feeling. Can't quite explain it. Maybe it's the constant noise. Maybe it's the water itself. I don't know. I can't shake this feeling. See you tomorrow. Can't be bothered. That is not... Homie, that is not... Water. I refuse to believe that that... Mess is water. It almost looks like oil, actually. It's not blood. If it were blood, we'd be screwed. But... Can't... Hmm. Who opened the basement, too, is another thing. Right here. No? Table labeled my family. Probably take this to the VHS player and play it. Also, man, you can hear that drip outside. That is, um, hmm. I I was worried for a second. I was going to give schizo lore, but, um, uh, I, I feel like dead bodies have that, like, when you see that blood drip, it gets rancid. I had a, a neighbor who, um, basically committed not alive, and I remember seeing the panels as the, the some guys had come take it out. To, like literally physically remove the panels and they looked like that with like a ring and shit and I just um that's kind of burned into my mind just like schizo lore so immediately my brain is just no that is not okay I don't like it obviously not intentional <laughs> for the developer but just oh man that feels way creepier <laughs> with that context oh fuck yeah, we're just gonna take a little sleepy Eevee. It'll be okay. It'll be sleepy. God. Yeah, just... I'm trying to, to self-censor it in my head to not give away too many details of, like, obviously, you know, out of... Uh, not of respect, but more like a... um, You know, what normal people should do. But... Just seeing that panel there, uh, the, the dripping water, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. No siree. It does not sit well with me at all. Good morning, son. Your mom told me you arrived in Mariana. How's it going? Hey, Dad. Well, you know. I know, I'm sorry, and how's the new house? All you were hoping for. It's okay, I was bringing boxes. Get back to doing that right now. Yeah, I don't know, that's just, it's just a connection to me, I guess, where it's like... It's a very visceral memory, for a variety of reasons, and I can't necessarily quantify it in a YouTube video, especially when I'm trying to not go into too much detail, but... 
I, I got a very disgust reaction when I saw that uh, the water drip in the basement. I, it's just like a like a visceral feeling of just like ugh. So I don't know. What is this? Rumble. I'm pretty sure this wasn't here yesterday. I'm gonna gather these really quick. If I can move these finally. Oh, the music is so nice in this. Come on. Here we go. Let's get these boxes done. Upstairs storage. That one's easy. But yeah, just, um... I, I don't really know how to... I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know how I'd even begin to talk about a topic like that, aside from just my relation to it and what I remember, but, um... It's just worth noting, okay? I'm, I'm trying to make it not sound... <laughs> I said schizo lore, but I'm trying to make it not sound, like, um... Super weird. I, I'm trying to not have to explain myself too much. Just my connection to that event and my memory of it just triggered something there. <laughs> That's it. That's the, the, the statement. I'm overthinking it. Nobody's gonna... <laughs> nobody's gonna listen this far, if I'm gonna be honest. Upstairs main hallway. I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna grab the last one for the sake of it. Downstairs bathroom. Double check. Yeah, downstairs bathroom. I love how the music subtly changes while we're in the house, by the way. Ah, uh, where's downstairs bathroom? That's bedroom. It's like over here. Where is it, actually? Hold on. There it is. It's right here. Oh, that's... Okay. I don't think we even went into the downstairs bathroom. It's that. Upstairs, main hallway. Oh god, the music stopped. That note's still the same? Upstairs, main hallway. Like, right around here? I'd kind of count this as a continuation of the hallway. Perfect. As I was bringing Broxes, I couldn't uh, help but repeatedly ask myself what I was actually doing here. I acted on impulse when I bought this house, but the vivid and recurrent dreams I had after the accident plagued my mind and kept haunting me until I finally gave in. It's like I didn't have a choice. Maybe it's the desperation to start fresh, or the need to escape the memories of that night, but here I was, in this unfamiliar place, with nobody but myself. For a moment, I questioned my sanity, so I took a deep breath, letting the musky smell of the old house fill my lungs, and, with a sense of, de yeah. <laughs> with a sense of determination, I whispered to myself, I'm here now, and I have to make the most of it. Still, I felt like I needed to turn this into my new home, so I set out to unpack all the boxes and decorate the place. You can now open boxes, decorate the house to your liking. I can't... I can't tell them I'm done? I mean, I don't have to, but they'd probably want to know. Inspect. Open. Oh, we straight up can decorate the house to our liking. Wall clock, books, DVD player, radio. I guess, um, you know, first things first, can't hurt to, uh, be able to tell the time. Nice. What about, um, Q and E to browse, that's weird. Picture of the, uh, dead wife. That's assuming dead wife. Um, <laughs> I could just put it on the floor. <laughs> I don't know why, but the visual of our character just going, Wife, you go here! And placing the, the photo of her on the floor is just awful. I remember this trip to Sao Paulo. 
It was honestly a mess, and a lot of things went wrong, but in the end, we still had fun. Afterwards, Jessica wouldn't stop making fun of me for forgetting my documents at home. Oh, it's gonna be one of those. This feels almost extremely... Oh, we can use mouse wheel to rotate, too, by the way. It feels extremely personal. Like, I, I dig it, but it's just... It feels kind of wrong, almost, peeking into somebody's life like this. Even if it's just our main character. Most of these books are mine, but I think some are Jessica's. There's one of a lonely woman sitting uh, by her bed on the cover. In the back, there's a picture of a beach in the afternoon with a storm approaching. Oddly enough, this book doesn't have a single word written on it. Oh, that's... That's menacing as fuck. <laughs> Man. Here, we need a radio in here. Can I, can I get a, a radio? Can I, can I get a... Damn. No option to use the radio? That that hurts. DVD player, you go right. Um, am I rotating it the right way? Can't tell. No, these are the, the composite inputs on the back. Here we go. Anything in here? I didn't actually even check if there's anything in here either. Also, the wall clock doesn't actually display a time proper. Should probably get on that. I assume something's gonna happen while I'm decorating, but... Can we just have this game be a, a permanent decoration simulator? Can we just... Can we just decorate? I, I would appreciate... <sighs> Spoke too soon. Brother-in-law. Honestly, a bit overwhelmed. I imagine, assuming our main character, his wife actually did keel over. Fan, you go here. Same here. She was an incredible person. My sister loved you. Yeah, yeah, this has got to be surreal. She hated your guts. <laughs> I at least respect that they're trying to help him out and not just like, fuck you, she's dead now, type of thing. But. Mm. Yeah, I know, but seriously, it wasn't your fault. Remember that. What a fucking, what a fucking dude. What a, what a dude. He has no obligation to actually message our, our main character anymore. He... He might not even be on good terms with them, from what it sounds like, but he's at least taking the time to reach out and tell them, hey, it, you, you good? Everything okay? We're all kind of dealing with that shit. I appreciate that. I like characters that do things like that. Take care. Oh. Wall calendar... Da -da 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 -da. I can't believe it's been two weeks. It's only been two weeks and you moved and they let you move? My man, you should not be moving in after two weeks after that. I can't help but think she's here right beside me. She's... Oh, I half expected the, the lady to be right there, if I'm going to be honest with you. Clay filter? What? What is this? Like a water filter? I've never seen this. You look cool. Yeah, clay filter. A blender. Obvious. My man, you really don't want to turn on the radio? You don't want to listen to the, the sultry tunes of the radio? You don't want to vibe? Where do I even put this? Where do I put a toaster in <laughs> A kitchen like this. Kettle goes over here. Oh, I can't place it on the stove? Also, what is this? Microwave in the corner. Ew. Kettle, can I put you up here? No. Kettle, you'll go right here for later. At least I know where you'll be if I need to, you know. Pineapple plastic jar. I assume that's for the clay filter. I don't know why, but the, they just seem like they go together. 
a fruit bowl. You packed an entire ass fruit bowl with fruit in it. You actual goober. <laughs> you actual weirdo. Blast bowls. Normally, I guess I'd want to put them up here, but I can't open these. I can open the lower ones. Oh god, all the lower ones. Well, some of them, actually. Notably, I can't open the fridge. Oh. Oh. Matching mugs that were given to Jessica and me as a gift for our two-year anniversary together. Oh. I don't even want this to be a horror game. I want this to just turn into a, like, I don't know. I just want to explore this dude's life. You know what I mean? Again, I half expect it's going to get into a, a horror game and everything's going to spooky, more spooky than before, but... What? Oh, I got... I just got chills. Ugh. Come on, demon. Oh, the VHS filter. Oh, fuck. Is there a demon around? Did I hallucinate? Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Just an orb. It's just an orb. Oh, God. Hello? Shut up, TV. No, don't listen. Don't don't listen to the static. No. Is that someone crying? Oh, somebody's in here. Somebody's in here. I just wanted to decorate. I just wanted to decorate, okay? How do I turn off the TV? No fucking TV. We're not doing this shit right now. No demons. That's the case. I'm gonna look. listen to these. Tape number three, the accident. Tape number one, my family. Here, we're listening to this shit. As the tape starts playing, I see a middle-aged man handling the camera. I quickly realize the man is in the same house that I'm in. He all smiles. Uh, he's all smiles as he moves away from the camera and joins his family, and they can be seen playing around in the backyard. I wonder if they're the previous owners. His wife and children seem to be having a great time, laughing and running around. There's a moment where the wife comes up behind the husband and puts her arms around him. They both smile and briefly look at the camera. It's nice, really. Can't help but feel like there's something off, though. Like there's an underlying tension, a sense of unease that's hard to describe. Maybe it's just me, but I get this feeling that things aren't as perfect as they seem to be on the surface. Well, that's everyone, dude. <laughs> Feels like the happiness portrayed here is a deceptive lure, tempting me to bite it and overwhelm me with its actual intentions. It's written on the man's face. It's like he's trying to hide something behind his smile. The tape ends and one of the kids trips and falls to the ground. But while the mother tends to the crying boy, the father's disingenuous smile finally fades away as he approaches the camera to turn it off. Once he's right in front of the frame, though, I get an eerie feeling of impulsiveness as he caught me prying onto his personal life. The tape ends. Strange feeling walking, watching the recordings of someone else's life. I can't help but wonder what happened to them. Were they where they are now? Did they move away a long time ago? Are they still together? It's like I'm peeking into a world that's not mine. A world that's both familiar and foreign. Car has been declared insurance brick. Oh, this weird VHS tape. I think it's from the old owners of the house. Car's totally fucked. I want to just say right now, I think... I know I connected it to the schizo lore earlier. I'm going to pause it just so nothing happens. But I absolutely love the way this is written. Because the thoughts that this character has of just the prying into somebody else's life is... It hits the nail absolutely perfectly on the head. And I... I good horror. Good horror should, you know get to you get under your skin and it's uh it's working oh god here we go tape shows a man who i assume was the previous owner of the house working in the basement the camera sitting on the counter and pointing at him he seems to be alone in the house although i can just hear his children playing in the backyard the tape is slightly damaged but i can make out most of what's happening 
For a few seconds, he just stays there in silence, as if anxiously rehearsing what he's the first words to the camera. When he finally starts speaking, I'm suddenly caught by this sense of uneasiness, and I shiver slightly. The man also seems uneasy and disturbed. His words, measured and hesitant, give off the sense that he's trying to describe a feeling he can't fully comprehend, but it's taken over him. He speaks of a sense of impending disaster, of a terrible event that he thinks is about to occur with his family. He's less and less coherent until he's taken by his own emotions and accidentally drops the tool he was using on the ground. He starts crying, carefully covering his mouth so that no one notices him. He mentions the terrible event will be his fault. Watching him, I can't he help but feel that his words are directed at me, as if he knows that I'm here watching this, and is trying to communicate with me. The way he talks about events is as if they've already happened. Then why is he doing this? What's the point of anything to prevent it from happening? What's the point of these tapes? Oh, motherfucker, you fuck off. I think it came from the basement. Oh, fuck no. Oh, God. Oh, no. There's gonna be a body right there, isn't there? Oh, God. Oh, no. That, what is that? What is that? What the fuck is that? What is this meat? I can't inspect it. This is terrible. Leaks quickly deteriorating the- It's- Ew. Ew, I have to do something or it'll collapse soon, but I can barely look at this thing. It's making me lightheaded. God, I hate looking at it. Ugh. Dude, it's a rancid massive- It's moving. It's fucking moving. Dude, you have bleach. You have fucking bleach, right? I hope you bought bleach. I hope you fucking bought bleach. That shit is moving. Did you watch it? What's in it? Who is this? Oh, God. My man, you got bleach in there, right? We're gonna go bleach that fucking thing. You and me, we're gonna- we're gonna bleach it. Come on. We gotta have- oh, God. You don't have any bleach. You did not bring any fucking bleach with you. You, out of all the things to potentially bring, uh, one of them being bleach, you did not bring it. So I think these pills, they don't do much. Doctor told me to keep taking them. There, there's a demon in the house, and it needs to be bleached. We can always just sprint the fuck out of here, but we both know that isn't going to work. Oh, sweet lord. <laughs> I knew it. I knew the fucking door is going to be open. Oh, God, I knew it. Oh, no. We're not doing it. I'm watching tape three. We're watching tape three, and then we're opening this. Oh, God. What the fuck? Oh, okay. I thought that was like a flesh demon outside. Oh, God. Rumble. Yeah, let's just, let's just, hey, let's listen to the tape. What could go wrong? Disorienting and unsettling, the man from the previous tape stands in a place impossible to identify. He appears to hover in the darkness, surrounded by countless long red streaks that stretch from as far as the eye can see, like veins that mysteriously emerge from above and just inexplicably disappear behind him. Oh, God. Oddly enough, I can feel them pulsing beyond the TV screen and onto my chest, suffocating me with the same feeling the man appears to be experiencing. The crushing darkness I inexplicably feel, the man's despair, the guilt, the regret, yet I can't bring myself to stop the tape and keep watching it. Stop mirroring me, game! The camera shakes and glitches. At times, it seems to be part of the man's body. His demeanor terrifies me. His words are fragmented, barely forming coherent sentences. In the brief moments that I see his face, there's a deep ache in his eyes as if he carries an overwhelming burden. He stammers feelings of regret and calls for his family, but he's all alone in that place, and I feel his family's no longer reachable. As he blames himself for it, it's a haunting sight, and I can feel his pain seeping through the screen, echoing within my own being as if he's somehow a shared consciousness. In the midst of all his own turmoil, his mouth opens wide, ready to unleash his agonies, but before he can do so, the tape ends. Oh my god! I feel broken by the intensity of what I've witnessed and almost feel ashamed to look at my own reflection, and I still feel how, like, this was needed somehow. What the f- Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, f <laughs> fuck, dude. <laughs> oh, shit, I hate this. Oh, god. I just wanted to live in my fucking house after my wife's death, and now we gotta deal with the fucking crushing existential dread of, you know, existence. It's not really nice. There's a flesh blob in the blaze basement. It's the sins of my past, and now my- oh god. Uh, what's in here? There's no windows. There's no windows anymore. Oh god, I wanna just decorate. 
There's a computer and a phone and a phone book. What if I use the, can I use the phone book actually? Hold on. I bought this phone book on the way here and I'm glad I did. I'll have to look for a, a plumber about that leak in the basement. Yeah, have a have a calm response. You're you're you lost your wife. You lost your wife. Things are fucked. You need to just um You need to relax. It's okay. There are probably no cyber demons here, and if they are, you'll deal with them somehow. Can't even use the computer. Wait, I can't use anything. Wait. Why? 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 Hold on. No. I'm I want to interact with the phone. Why can I not interact with the phone or anything around anymore? Where's my interaction buttons? Where do they go? I need those. I just want to I just want to fucking I want to decorate. Come on. It's it's just fun decoration simulator, okay? 99 nine, I wanted to call the number 939952. Come on. I I can't interact with things anymore. I wish I could. Please game. I want to interact with the phone. Why can't I phone? Why can't I do this? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. It's cool. We can can't interact with the box anymore either. That's not cool. That's not nice. I don't like that. Is this just a bug? <laughs> I can't tell. It's unnerving me. This game's getting under my under my skin really well, and I hate it. I can't interact with it. I, I, I just can't interact with anything. Uh-oh. I'm going to assume this is intentional. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, so... Oh, God. No demons. Maybe it's time to... No? Can't take a, take a little nap? The house is, is literally... Oh, my headset slipped off. The house is literally sealed off. Oh, there's totally somebody in. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, it's Oh, it's so tense. I hate it. Fuck you, demon. Fuck you, house demon. I hate you. I don't even know what you're doing in here, man. I just wanted to have a fun time in my house, and now I'm stuck with the fucking house demon. Not cool. Oh god. Oh, I hate this. It's the flesh blob. I gotta go check out the flesh blob, don't I? I just wanted to... Can I take my pills? No? That's unfortunate. Let's go check out the flesh blob. Hey, flesh blob. You, you doing okay, flesh blob? You, you alright, flesh blob? You doing good? Ugh. You, you, you alright, flesh blob? Making me lightheaded. I need to take care of it. God, I hate looking at it. Ugh. Is that a... Oh, fuck. Oh, I hate that. Oh, there's something in the house. Oh, there's something in the house. Oh, God. Okay. I was gonna say, the flesh blob is a metaphor for his deteriorating social situation. Hello? Oh, where are you coming from? Stop. Oh, you're to my left. You're in my left ear and I don't like it. Just fuck off. Fuck off, man. I can't interact with things anymore. I just want to I, I just want to fucking I just want to want to fucking, you know, chill out in my house. Oh, there's a demon. I can't interact with the demon. There's a box here I didn't place there. I, I'm actually, this genuinely might be bugged. Like, okay, it was creepy at first, but now I, I, I just can't interact with anything. The fuck was that? Hello? Demon? Demon, where, demon, where are you? You're in the upstairs? You're, you're up here somewhere in the demon dimension. Can you tell I'm leaning far away from my mic because I'm a... Uh, oh, fuck. Because I'm a... Uh, I'm basically bracing for jump scare. I hope there's no jump scare, but I am bracing for it. What the fuck do I do? 
Is this just the dev's psychological torment? Where he, he's just trying to see how long it takes to break somebody? <laughs> oh, I hate this. Oh, come on. I can't get out. I can't do anything. I was trying to listen and see if maybe there's a place where that's coming from. Can I eat the food? Mmm. 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 Delicious. Delicious and nutritious. Butter Gristoli's was very delicious. Maybe you needed to eat something. You need to get some fucking water. Again, I was gonna say, I think the the flesh blob is a metaphor for the man. The man is has constant relationship issues with his life, and he needs to figure his own shit out. His family has an undercurrent of uh, issues that he just hasn't dealt with. And our main character is somebody who's trying to currently pretend that their wife isn't dead. It's been like two weeks, and they're not like literally pretending in that they're hiding it, but mentally speaking, they're trying to just dissuade themselves with anything that they can get their mind off of. Especially because our main character is probably at fault in some capacity. Oh, game, is, is it really bugged? It might, I, it might just be bugged, actually. Look, if you're gonna fucking scare me or do something, you're gonna pop out a demon or whatever, I'm ready for it. Do it. Wait, why are the walls flushy now? Why are the wall? Why, 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 why are the, why, why, why everything like this? Can... Uh, I can't... Hmm. Oh god. Should I be looking for something? Is this the game's way of trying to nudge me into looking for something, anything? Like, in one of the cabinets? Or is this just bugged? I, I can't tell. The tension is mounting and I'm just, I'm feeling it. I'm fucking feeling it. I'm fighting every urge in my body to immediately close the game and... Oh, that was a dust particle. Oh, my God. Immediately close the game and pretend I didn't open it. God. Again, especially with the flesh blob being reminiscent of that. It's just... It, it's another connection. I'm just like, I fucking hate it. Please let me out of the house. Local skeleton does not want to be in the house. Please let me out. I, I actually... I genuinely think the game might be bugged. That might be the intention. But, wait, there's still a window in here. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, fuck! No! Stop it! No! We're not doing that! We're not fucking doing the haunted bullshit with the door! Fuck you! We're not doing that shit. Oh, fuck right off. We're not, we're not, we're not doing that. Hi, hello. I hate you. What are you? Oh, okay. Let's go. Take me. No. Nope. Something locked this door. Okay, hi, existential terror demon. Hello. Ugh. The fuck are we now? Oh, we're in the, the, the vein dimension. That's great. I don't want to be in the vein dimension. I don't, I don't want to be in the vein dimension. No, come on. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Hi, vein man. How are you? I'm great. This place sucks. Why did you let this happen? I want to know about the existential terror you put your family through because you clearly locked in the vein dimension for some reason. Hi! You're gonna turn around and you're gonna spook me and do the loud screaming and I don't- I don't want that. I, I don't want that at all. Thanks. Oh god. Oh, I'm stuck here. Oh god. <laughs> Hi. No. Stop. Please. No thank you. I don't like it. I don't fucking like it at all. Oh, hi, dead wife. Uh, thanks. Not, not a, bu oh, bye. 
Oh god. Oh god, I hate this. Oh, oh fuck, I hate this. I hate this so much. Oh. Oh. Did you watch it? What's in there? Ha 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 ha. Hello, son. How are you holding up? Wait, where's the other number? It was your fault. It's not. It's not my fault. No, no, it wasn't. What? Oh, God, that was just entirely flipped. Oh, God. Such a disappointment. He's having a, a mental breakdown. Oh, God. Oh, oh, the endless demon dimension. Great. Oh, sweet, merciful Christ. I can't fathom what I'm seeing. There's an extremely repulsive slime forming from the leak. It gives a horrible stench. It looks alive. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. Wait, why is there baby crying? Why, why is there baby crying? Oh, oh, Jesus. Fuck you. Fuck you forever. Fuck you forever. Oh my god, I hate this. Ah, oh, why did I decide this is a good idea? Why did what did I think? Oh fuck, we can't go up. We can't go up. We we can't go up. Why did I think this is a good idea? Why did I think, hey, you know, it'll be it'll be good. We'll play some spooky horror game. Skeleton spooky, haha, -ha, nothing nothing bad ever happens in skeleton land. It'll be okay, it'll be fine, but no. No, I decided let's let's play this and see the fucking baby the, the fucking baby. <laughs> You're gonna feel guilt about your unborn dead child, too. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, what is that? I've never seen them before. She was a painter? She did painting? That's good. That's... That's, uh, that's, that's great. That's fantastic. You know what? You're... I'm glad your... Your... Your dead girlfriend did painting. That's really nice. Oh god. Oh, oh fuck. No. No. Shut that. Oh fuck. Shut that demon. Don't care, demon. The cell phone will protect us. Oh. <laughs> oh, I have my headset off for this too, and it's still loud, and I can still hear it. There's the painting of the the, the one referenced earlier. There it is. Oh, great. Cool. Cell phone will protect what is happening here. Cell phone? <laughs> cell phone of self-defense? Ah, uh, flesh demon, hello again. Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, I hate this. Hey, meat dev, if you watch this, here's some inspiration. This is awful. I hate this. This makes me feel very uncomfortable, and I know you love your meat abominations, so here you go. The, you got you got this. You got this fun experience of oh hello. Hello. Uh not wife. Honey. Each took an eternity to finish, but they turned out perfect. Why did you make them? I felt like I was thinking of you and our baby, you know what? They that's why they look so wonderful. What does God look oh fuck? <laughs> oh no. Funny, you were never religious, but you always tried to help me understand why we could never truly see him, and I really appreciate that. But I see him now. I see him, and he's beautiful. Do you see him too? Pity, I wish you could see him too. So powerful and astounding, but devastating. It'd feel like tearing my face off, but in the most wonderful way. Ugh. Don't worry about me, we have our baby. Do you hear that? She's crying. You should go check. She's probably hungry. Oh no. Oh god. He's not just feeling guilt about the... He's not just feeling guilt about the wife, but the dead baby. The baby didn't make it, did it? And now... Oh no, oh god. Oh god, it's just getting worse. Baby, are you okay? Oh god, what's happening here? Oh, no! We've barely seen you come to think of it. I think it's time I let you go. Why don't you join us? I can't join you. I'm, oh, man, no. Don't, don't fall for this. Oh, God. 
Door is locked. Uh oh. Oh. Oh god, he doesn't have a concept of what the baby is. He never let family go. He doesn't he doesn't know what the fucking baby is, so he just pictures it as a mound of flesh. Oh my god. This is so fucked. Oh. Camera? Hello. Can I can I go out? Leak seems to have stopped. Oh god. Phone? I can't check phone. I can't check map either. Please, check. I feel like this door should remain locked. Oh, the symbolic. I didn't leave the house. Oh, no, I don't, I don't want to leave the house. I just wanted to open the door. Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit, there's cutscene. I, I, I want you to know, viewer, I'm a little bitch, and you should watch better Let's Plays with this, but God, this is amazing. I love this. Ever since the accident. Oh, even how we decorated. Guilt has haunted me. It's not your fault, dude. It it probably isn't your fault. So I built a labyrinth. Oh, what were the uh, I know there's multiple endings to this. What were the other endings? I found my way out. Good. I like the the narrative idea of character goes through some shit and then finds their way out. That's all that's how we exist. The windows are gone. Oh, that makes more sense now. Fuck. This was a treat. Obviously not as flesh abomination -y as I expected, and I'm happy for that, but the connection to my own events in real life that I've seen, even if it's not really, um... Oh, that was the good ending? But, um, the connection to real life made this just extra creepy. Like, I got unnerved, and then halfway through I'm just like, fuck this. Fuck this, I need to get through this. It's just... That's good horror. I I got uncomfortable. Ugh. Man, I'm glad. I, I fuck good fucking game. I love this. If you you hear this viewer, then that means this didn't make it again to uh didn't make it to the uh, planned Halloween thing. So my name is Archer. Like the video if you like it, dislike it if you don't. <laughs> Probably not my best video. Oh fuck. But. <laughs> I, I love this. I love this. This is so good. This is so good. Ah, fuck. Okay, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Stay safe. Don't get bored by the fucking demon house. Ugh.